Hey y'all, it's me. So I'm going to come at you with a haul from Jean Louis Aubon. I'm pretty sure I'm not saying that right. Um, he's a chocolatier out of Vegas, and if you're in Vegas, you should really go to his um, factory and check it out because. I really love it. It's great, um, and they supply a lot of the really uh, nice hotels on the Strip with their bonbons and a lot of their chocolates and nougat and stuff. So, and I really am very into artisanal, delicious, yummy, delicious chocolates. And Jean Marie Blanc uh, has some of the best. So, no two ways about it in my mind. Has some of the best. It's amazing. So. Um, they were so kind when I was there and very nice and obviously they didn't know I was going to be making this haul or this review but I had bought from them before a couple years ago and I really love it uh, so I knew when I was coming back through Vegas on my way out that I really was wanting to stop here and make a purchase for myself and send some home to my family because my dad really enjoys it um, and my mom and them and so I wanted to get little pieces for them um, because it's one of those things that it is their prices I don't think are too terrible I've had I've, I've, you know at this point on this channel I've been to a few chocolate places I've tried and seen a few things and um, if I'm going back to it that really says something about it you know what I mean so um, they were really kind and I actually like they had little smaller tubes of the panned chocolates and nuts um, and I asked, I was like, do you have larger tubes of certain things? And then also with regards to, like, caramels and a couple other things. So they were able to go in the back and, and pull it, um, because it was ready and stuff. So they kind of made some of this stuff for me. Like, not specifically this one, but they had it in the back, but, you know, they just had to put it in containers. And still, it takes time to make it, and I appreciate the thought and the effort and them being able to do that, um, me to request. So I asked them, um, they had the small $7 uh, pecans caramelized dark and I asked, I said, do you have the large too? Because really for me, for the money, I'm better off getting this. Because um, so, I fully intend to break this up in the smaller bags and stuff and send this home. Um, so I picked up the pecans caramelized dark and they were able to accommodate that and do that for me and I am super duper duper grateful. Uh, I also asked them if they had the mango passion caramels because I absolutely love these. I think these are amazing. Um, and they were extremely kind and were able to get a bag ready for me and uh, sell it to me. So thank you very much. Um, again, they had this stuff in the back. Obviously, they had to have it made because caramels take time to cool. But the fact that they were very kind and able to go back and um, create the bag and package and get it ready to go. I, I really appreciate it and thank you. And this is so amazing because I love this so much. So much. And I'm going to send some of these ones as well. But I'm also going to keep some of those for myself. Um, I picked up a small bag of the raspberry caramels. Um, I actually have the base recipe for this. This makes a poop ton of caramel. Um, it is one of my favorite caramel recipes but it is also the most finicky fruit caramel caramel I've ever made but when it goes right it's so amazing and when it goes wrong it's hella wrong but it's so good these are the best look I do believe like if you're looking for a fruit forward caramel look no further because they're amazing now their sea salt caramels and their other caramels are amazing and in fact he's won I don't know how many awards for these this is the double sea salt chewy caramels um I bought this before I bought a couple of boxes I only bought one I, oh, I kind of wish I bought two more but I was I'm living on a budget, you know what I mean? So, I just bought the one. Um, and this I intend to send home to my family for them to figure out how they're going to dole it out. <laughs> I just figured that's up to them to decide. So, um, I picked up some, some of the nougat, nougat, however you say it. I really, really, Jean, I never had good nougat before Jean Marie Blanc. Um, last time I picked up the individual wrapped ones and I had gotten a sample size and, um, or I say sample, but individual, and it had like all three flavors. It was so good. They didn't have that. I didn't even think to ask if they could do that, um, cause I kind of had already, you know, kind of felt bad, but they were super amazing and I, 
if I had us, I have a hunch that if they had it all available, they absolutely would have done it. They were so incredibly nice. I picked up the pistachio nougat bar. I also picked up the raspberry nougat bar and just the plain vanilla one. I like both of these. I think, or all these, I think, oh, so good. It really got me into making nougat. And I absolutely am cuckoo bird about making really great. Then I picked up some other things I've gotten before that I really, really do enjoy. Hold on, I'm gonna toss it up in the garbage as we go. I got, um, I got almonds caramelized in dark chocolate. Caramelized almonds in dark chocolate. These are really good. I've had this before. I think they are amazing. I also got this one, which I think is so good. I love, I'm telling you, Jean Marie is a bon. Their panned chocolates are so good. Um, this is caramelized popcorn covered in milk chocolate. Um, it's so good. They even have, um, they had some hazelnuts covered in milk chocolate and they called it the M&M style. And it's, it looks so good, but I just, again, I was really trying to hone in and focus and behave myself. Um, they had some new stuff, so they had some bark. So I picked up, like, pistachio bark, just a little bit, and I picked up just a little bit of this is the, I think this is caramelized almonds um, in dark chocolate, and I got to try samples of both, and they were extremely lovely, as always, because, I mean... I really, really enjoy like their chocolates. I really wanted to go to um, another couple of chocolate shops. I mean, I went to a lot of random ones on the strip, but like I knew when I look at when I looked at them, that I was like, oh, oh yeah, I'm just wait. Um, I would have liked to have gone and seen Melissa Coco's setup, but it didn't look like it was ready uh, when I checked online, and I didn't email to ask or anything. So I picked up um, just a four pack of the Bomba. I really generally like to get a nine, but they were completely out of the nine, you know, packaging thing. Um, so I picked up four, um, pineapple passion fruit, um, raspberry petit de fee, and uh, peanut jean duha, uh, peanut butter and jelly. And this is the rouge, which is like a cassis one. It's was amazing. These were all amazing, let's be real. Um, but yeah, so I really loved it. I will say, customer service and experience wise, I always feel like uh, Jean Marie is, again, and I'm not sure I'm saying his name right, is, I'll just hold this up here so you can see. Like, you can Google it, it's there. Uh, I think it's, for me, it's, it's always a great customer experience. It's only the, well, when I came the first time, I went twice, like one one day and then one again um, always such a great customer service experience they're always so incredibly nice to me um, again I cannot recommend checking them out enough if you're ever in Vegas um, a lot of the stuff you buy on the strip um, if it's a really high-end uh, restaurant or store uh, is probably like the bonbons and some of that are probably supplied by them um, that being said, again, I really like to go to the store and I just enjoy it because they always have new flavors and because they teach there as well, so sometimes you get to try some funky flavors that maybe someone else came up with but they're not going to put into their premier shop, the premier, you know, the people, the premier shops on the strip or whatever or wherever else in the U.S. and the world are going to buy because it's for a class but they might have them available in the like chocolate factory shop so that's kind of fun to get to go in and potentially try stuff that you know maybe never is going to be available again or you know it's just kind of a one-off thing so i kind of live and love that sort of stuff but that's just me because i'm kind of crazy like that and so i really i totally recommend you go try it um i mean they always have really cool stuff and if you are an atelier or a pastry chef or um someone who's really hardcore into cooking or is a professional cook or chef and is interested, I would highly recommend you check out some of their classes. 
Um, I haven't taken any, but from what I've read online, they're amazing. Um, that being said, obviously, they're hella expensive. So, uh, I really love being able to have the opportunity to, to go try this food and just, you know, tell you that I've tried it before. It's amazing. I came back. That's really saying something. Because uh, most places I don't necessarily go back to if I go through that city again. Uh, so, yeah. So, I do think that's important to note. So, that is all for this haul. If you have any amazing food places you have tried and loved, let me know in the comments section below. Uh, and I will talk to you later. I hope you have a wonderful evening, morning, afternoon, whatever it is, wherever you are. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.